An orphaned American Israeli teenager watched both of his parents get murdered by Hamas terrorists. Earlier today, he described how he had to play dead to survive. The terrorists shot, opened the door, shot. They threw a grenade or something. It exploded. The last thing my dad said is he lost his arm. And then my mom died on top of me. I just stopped my breathing. I lowered it down as much as I possibly could. I didn't move. I was terrified. I didn't make any noise. And I hope. And I prayed for any God. I didn't really care which God. I just prayed for a God that they won't find me. Our next guest is part of the Jerusalem-based rescue unit, Saka, which has been deploying volunteer and paramedics to towns raised by Hamas terrorists. He has been taking to social media describing unspeakable depravity, witnessed in some of the hardest-hit towns. Volunteer paramedic Tomer Peretz joins me. Good evening, sir. And we just listened to a teenager tell a horrible story about watching his parents be murdered in front of him with his mother dying on him. But that's just one story. I mean, you must be, con you must be coming across so many, I mean, 1,200 of them. Horrible. Um, first of all, I would like to correct. Um, I just volunteered just in the past few days with uh, Zaka. They do that for so many years. I just volunteer for a few days. Um, I, it, I'm in shock. Like I have very hard time to tell you what we've seen because because it's really hard to you know for the words to come out of my mouth. But um, you you th this is not just killing. This is this is just like cutting body parts, burn them alive in front of their family members. This this is like um, I horrified, like insane, insane. I've never thought that that humans can can do stuff like that. This is unhumans. This is insane. Um, yeah, we picked up um, on the first day, what was it like over 100 bodies. The day was like over 40. Um, uh, insane. It, really, really bad. Um. Is, is I assume that part of the part of the, the challenge is to give dignity to it, to the to the people who have died because certainly Hamas showed no dignity to them. I mean, they just as you described, you know, what's happened to them. But I assume that part of the challenge is because you know people in, in death do you know and their families do deserve some sort of dignity. Yeah, that's why we can show. Um, the actual body faces or taking photos of the actual body and showing around. But you don't want to see what I have on my phone. Uh, whatever I'm describing about body parts and babies has and all those things you hear around, it's it's mm. it's there. It's it's happening. Um it's happened and it's it's um in my worst nightmares I've never thought that that could happen to us. Am I correct that the, 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 there's some, I mean, that obviously some people are just in their homes and that, you know, that the people, that the Hamas would just come in and slaughter them in their own homes? I mean, just, just families, you know, these aren't soldiers, but just families in their homes in these, in these areas adjacent to Gaza? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They slaughtered them in their beds, in their bedrooms, in their living room, all over. They shot them, some buddies, they had shots of like, 30, 40 times all over the body. Um, like one was not or two was not enough. Like they had to do it like so many times. Like you could even not recognize the actual body part anymore. Like an arm doesn't look like an arm. And it, it... How, how do you find but, it within yourself to be able to do, how do you find it within yourself to be able to do this to bring the dignity to these people who have died as, as I say I I live in Los Angeles I just came here to visit for vacation and when the war just started I called my friend from Zucca which is one of the heads over there and I told him I want to help out I swear I had no idea what I'm what I'm going to see I had, I had no idea what what is it all about I I thought I'm about I'm, I'm going to give some food to some soldiers. I had no clue that I'm about to see this shit. Sorry. Mm. 
Kamar Peretz, um, thank you. And uh, in you know, you know, your 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 sacrifice in bringing trying to bring dignity is you know as much appreciated as, as the world watches this horror. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me.